Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. Wake up to this altar daily. After listening to the audio, turn to the prayer booklet, also authored by me. Learn to study the Word of God, a short Bible study every morning, and then the guideline of how to read the Bible through in one year. Subscribe for Turning Point Prayer Booklet online, so it will be sent to your phone. You can do a yearly or a monthly subscription with a token. For subscription and subscription renewal, chat with Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so right away. Welcome also to Tuesday, the thirteenth day in February, twenty twenty four. Please open your hand and heart to receive the day's blessings. Be responding with Amen. I receive it. Everyone, lay your hand on yourself, preferably on your chest. I prophesy, everything that stopped you from rising last year will not stop you again this year. Everything that stopped you from getting married last year, that stopped you from conception and delivering your babies, that hindered you from securing your visa, your work permit, indefinite stay, green card, and citizenship, everything that stopped you from building or buying your house, Everything that stops you from getting your promotion or the location to join your spouse, selling your goods and your product, or fulfilling your dreams, everything that stopped you last year or last time shall not come up again this year. I use Nahum chapter 1 verse 9 to pray. He said, affliction shall not rise up the second time. So shall be your portion. Who is this? A sickness you have already testified about has healed. A problem you have testified about and solved. The devil wants to bring it up again. The devil is a liar. Your affliction will not rise again. Be completely healed again this time. That issue will become a testimony in Jesus' name. Missed opportunities. I'm hearing missed opportunities. I speak over everyone's lives. Your missed opportunities. God shall give you new opportunities in the name of Jesus. Who is this? Those taking your name from shrine to shrine, from coven to coven, from evil altar to evil altar shall receive divine judgment of God. Who is this? They are signing your check and your papers now. It will get to you very soon. We will receive your testimonies here. This person, you lost a loved one, a close person, and you are grieving. You are finding it difficult to get over the trauma. Please be comforted. Sing songs and hymns to God. Thank God for the life of the person. Comfort yourself and move on. We cannot bring back our dead loved ones. But we should thank God for their lives and ask God for strength to move on. Please move on. I have prayed for you and we will continue to pray for you. February 13 celebrant, your birthday prayers. May God bless you. Receive grace for a healthy, wealthy, prosperous and long life. Happy birthday. Listeners, Welcome to the second day of teaching, counseling, and guidance. First issue today. Please, when will the first second of the year at Dominion City, Adulogu, Ibadan, be held? Wow, we just concluded the first diet of both the weekdays and the weekends in Dominion City, Ibadan. Second one, both weekdays and weekdays are started in Ikeja, Goshenland, Lagos. Weekdays started Monday, February 12th, and we run till February 23, only eight days. You can still join all listeners in Lagos. Weekend edition in Lagos, we start from February 17th, and we run for five, four or five Saturdays. Please join them. Be attentive for when the second diet at Dominion City, by the we commence, it shall be well announced here. Next, good morning, Daddy. May God continue to renew your strength. My sister is almost 40, doing well, finance-wise. Not married. She has a series of heartbreaks. Now, a young divorcee has shown a great interest in her. But as Christians, we are a bit skeptical about her getting married to a divorced man with two daughters already. Though, we are happy that, at last, someone has shown interest in her. What is your opinion on this subject, sir? We can see it that the love between them is growing. Wow, we have treated this kind of issues here severally. For a divorced man, 
detailed and careful background checks must be carried out. Who is this man? What led to the hiccups in the first marriage? It should be well listened to, and you should not just listen to the man. No, some elders or your sister's pastors must get involved to the root of this matter. Find out from those who know them closely, even talk to the woman that was divorced or somebody close to her. This is to avert your sister suffering what the first woman suffered. If the man is the issue, character-wise, health-wise, or addicted to something, then your sister will suffer the same fate that the first woman suffered. No, and that should not happen. In addition, prayer is very key. The voice of God and the voice of the Holy Ghost is key. He reveals so many things. Now, God will not allow his children to fall into the hand of wrong people, except if such people operated in ignorance or they refused to listen. Your sister had waited for this long. She should not fall into a wrong hand anymore. Tell her to be patient and let due diligence, background check, be well carried out. Next, sir, happy new year. The grace of God will continue with you, sir. My questions are, what can one do to be saved from the family that had a child for someone's husband out of pleasure? How can one do to the bastard child? Because this happened when one was mourning a child. Wow. Ah, this is heartbreaking and disturbing. Why some men or husband will do this to their wives? Baffled me. Another child from another woman out of pleasure? Oh no. You married the wrong person, an unfaithful husband. Well, how can I cancel you now? Patience and prayers. Is he remorseful? Is he willing to repent and apologize and stop it? If he is remorseful, then forgiveness, even though it is very painful. But if he keep on doing it more, then that marriage cannot stand. All yet to marry. Please prayerfully comply with God's guideline and standard, and standard for marriage. If he agreed to change, then the marriage can remain and go on. Another. Good morning, Daddy. And my turning point family. My question is on the issues of making peace with our offenders. What about in a case of making peace with someone and after something, the person now said that he did not want to have anything to do with you anymore. Are we still going to make peace with that kind of a person again? Wow. If you have done what the word of God asks us to do, and the person still say, I don't want to have anything to do with you again, then let it be, and let him or her go. Especially if you are not in the same church. If you are in the same church, this is what Christ said, take one or two persons along with you to the person. If he's still resisting, report the matter to the church elders. Next, good morning, sir. How do we reconcile with those who already blocked us on their phones and are not even in Nigeria anymore? We are of the same parents, and for years now, no more contact. I have tried, but no response before the blockage. We are all from Christian home, and they go to church. Wow, I have received so many responses on this reconciliation matter. You know, I said, it will not be easy. Like this case, if they have left the country and also blocked you off from their phone, then move on with your own life. God sees your heart. At God's own time, he will let them see reason for reconciliation. If they then reach out to you, then please receive them with a Christian heart. My last word is for parents. Parents, please bring up your children closely. Knitedly, knit uh, and well bonded together while they are still growing up with you in their formative years before they start living their own life at different settings. Please make sure that they are well bonded. It is heartbreaking for parents, especially in their old age, to see their children turn back to back to each other. Most times, parents cause the friction in the children in their formative years showing more love and open preferences to one or two children above the others. When our lives are over, when we grow old and we go back to our maker, it is good to know that our generations, our children, 
continue to be bonded together, carrying on our legacy. Wow. I hope somebody is blessed by this. We broadcast this to all on your contact. Do so daily. Join us later this evening on the Tuesday's edition of Word and Power Service, 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. on our social media platforms, Nigeria Time. Tomorrow is the prayer mountain service in our Abuja Center, 12 to 2 p.m. at Living Spring Chapel, Kadola Camp, after the fish market, Abuja, for direction and inquiry, 0806-133-2800. Thursday is the prayer mountain service in Ikeja, Lagos, Two prayer mountain services every Thursday in Ikeja. 7 to 9 a.m. first service. 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. second service. Now, this week's prayer mountain service focus is anointing for winning life's battles. Come to be taught, to be prayed for, and be anointed to win battles of life. Health battles, marriage battles, job battles, immigration battles, legal battles. Life is full of all kinds of battles. Come, I will give you anointed mantle free of charge for praying and doing miracle. Don't miss the prayer mountain this week. Obtain your TPGF kits and start wearing them to prayer mountain services and to everywhere. Be a brand ambassador of Jesus and of TPGF family worldwide. In Nigeria, to get your TPGF kit, SMS, chat, or call Dupe on 0806-478-8392. And in Europe and in UK, pass of Franklin on 079-56-504-536. Then do so. Pay your tithe, pay your battle seed, thanksgiving offering, and all the seed. You can hear other people's testimonies. Do so, and the Lord will bless you. To all our TPGF members and listeners in Lagos, second one, weekdays and weekend have started. Join. The weekdays have started from Monday, February 12th, and we run for eight days. The weekend will start on 17th of February and run for six, five Saturdays at Goshen Land, Ikeja. For enrollment and inquiry, call Dupe on 0806-478-8392 and Moji on 0803-909-2578. Start calling and chatting now. I prophesy to everyone's life, the power of God is on you. The grace of God will uphold you. You will fulfill your calling. You will not die. You will not go down. You will go up. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. TPGF. Truly blessed. Bye.